Hello everyone, this is Kuroda coming back at ya, and you know what, uh, that's actually a really decent rare that can win you the game. It does cost 9, but if I ever get to the late game, um, yeah, sure, why not. Alright, so... For those of you guys who have been following my channel, yes, I did end up getting some extra beta keys. This is uh, going to be a single elimination draft tournament just because I, if I lose, hey, it's a shorter video for me, not as much time commitment on my side. If I win, I get more prizes. So it's kind of a win-win situation. Now, um, I need to figure out a way to give out my beta keys. And I'm going to be looking for suggestions out there. I also have a number of Strider decks and booster packs to give out. So if you guys um, have any ideas, definitely, definitely let me know. And I will go ahead and look into them. Um, I could try to go for mono green, but uh, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to take the, I'll take the honeycap right now. Um, yeah, I'll take the honey cap for now. If I can go, if I can go very heavy green, that's great. If I can't, um, I can start drafting another color. Honey cap is not a bad card. It's just a card that needs a little bit of help early on um, to really, really pick up. If I can go mono green, that would be awesome. But then again, if I can play this guy, that would be even aw even awesome or really awesome as well. What does this do? When this troop enters play, gain 9 health. When this troop dies, put it into your hand. So, so good. Um, Repel would have been nice as well to be able to destroy things and, and get to the late game. Um, I'm not actually drafting... I'm actually breaking my own rules of draft where I, I try and actually go for lower cost cards for a lot of momentum early on, and I am not doing that right now. 2 drop, 2 do. Uh... Ooh, permanent steadfast wow that is significantly better um yeah i will go i will go uh cracking guard mariner uh solid solid two drop gives steadfast which is really good as well and it looks like i'm gonna be going diamond wild now the weakness of diamond wild oh, if i can get an angle but done that would be awesome um the weakness of diamond wild is lack of flying but then there's turbulence to try to get around that um there are also a number of number of pegasus um or winged horses um i for those of you guys who actually know peg a pegasus is a specific winged horse not all winged horses are pegasus um it, it's just become commonplace and not pegasus is actually a proper noun anyways let's go ahead uh, shield trainer, a uh, royal guard, concubunny. Um, none of these cards are really, really uh, that great. What is this? Tar Troop shoot control get plus one, plus zero. Um, mesmerize, shield trainer, bravery. Uh, captain of the dragon guard. Very, very good late game. Um, you know what, I'll go, I'll go Shield Trainer. Maybe, maybe I'll find some use, use for him. Infiltrator block, uh, bot could be good as well. Uh, white, green, inspire. Destroy target artifact or constant. Uh, okay, I'm going to go Survival of the Fittest. It is a way to... Ooh, if I can get a sensei out, that'd be great too. Like shield trainer and guard marina or sensei. It is a one three or it's a one two steadfast draw card. Maybe I should just go with like very very heavy inspire. That that would be interesting. Honey cap survival the fittest. Uh, buffalo is a two drop two three. Pal paladin is a five drop wow 
Okay, Glimmering Witch. Yeah, I think I'll go for that. It's a three drop, two, three that help, that gains me health. So, five drop for a three, five just is not that exciting. But then again, that's probably what the honey cap's gonna be. I don't know, maybe honey cap will come in late game. And I'll be like, hey, I got a seven, seven. So I got two big late game guys. I got a lot of minions, right? Or I got a lot of troops right now. I'll probably be ex uh, interchanging troops, creatures, and minions all, all at the same time. All right. Uh, Cottontail Ronin can be good, but the Wind Whisperer is probably the best, um, the best pick here. Um, it gives a little bit of control. Um, it, it also, if I can get steadfast on it, I can, I can attack and then exhaust and block, uh, or force a troop to not be able to block things like that. Things of that nature. So, Wind Whisperer is is surprisingly good. I need to get more stuff though. And and the Wind Whisperer almost becomes like a constant shutdown, where this three drop one two can always always take out something a bit bigger. Uh, let's see, two drop, two two, or soothing breeze gain seven life. Yeah, my cost is pretty good right now. And I have eight cards, all of which are usable right now. Which is good. I mean, as, as long as you're getting seven, seven to eight cards that are usable per turn, um, or per pack, that's, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. Pegasus Bravery gets, target troop gets permanent plus one, plus one. Every pawn. A little bit of Pegasus block there. I don't know what the green and white gems are. It's still a two drop one two. That I'll, I'll figure it out. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a green. Uh, let's see. On the usable card is the wild child two drop two two. If I can make it a two drop two three, even better. Or a two drop two three steadfast. Come on, more inspire. Sort by a shard. Okay, looks like I'm getting a bravery. Yeah, my last draft actually bugged out, so that was the problem there. Uh, profit not very useful. Uh, oh, Howling Brave. That's actually really useful with the honey cap. Um, and it helps me jump the curve, so I think I will end up taking that. Come on, let me grab it. Uh, no Briarwood Legions either.
building machine here. <laughs> and the only other option is guard dog, which is not that great. Uh, I guess I can go captain. Or diamond, or what? Sapphire is always such a good, such a good color, or such a good shard in hex. Having flight gives you such a, such an advantage. Ooh, the sensei. Anything that can help me replace the cards that I already have, draw cards faster, uh, make my deck slightly faster is always going to be useful. Also a good chump blocker. right now which is which is good okay I passed up the shin hair earlier and now all the shin hairs are coming This flavor text. The literature written by the elders of the House of Moon emphasizes redemption through sacrifice. Diamond, diamond, wild, shin hair. All of a sudden, I could have taken another honey cap. Maybe I should have taken another honey cap. I don't know. Cottontail Ronin is such a uh, is such a growing threat. Okay, if if that shin hair guy comes back to me, please let it come back to me. So good. It doesn't look like it's going to be coming back to me. So it's Sinhair Militia or Captain of the Dragon Guard. 
who knows, maybe I can pull back, like, the sensei. Haha! <laughs> Bucktooth Commander, yes! He's actually worth it now. Can I actually go just mono green? I might be able to just go mono green. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let me see. Shit cost. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. No, not quite enough to go mono green. My first non. Non what artifact diamond wild card. targets for the copy. Ooh, repel. I need removal. Repel. Okay, now that actually, that repel, if I can get an inner conflict as well, that will give me more reason to play um, Diamond. Right now, my, uh, not my Nature Reigns, my Survival of the Fittest, my Repel, and my Wind Whisperer are my three control cards to try and get rid of big guys. The Wind Whisperer will come back to me. I'm gonna have four. I'm gonna have four senseis in a deck. Oh, hopefully the deck runs extremely well. I, I should get another Honeycap now. I, I, now that I can actually almost run mono green. Halim, uh, I wish I had another Halim Brave. It's like turn one. Wild Shard, Halim Brave, turn two. Shield Trainer, Sensei, draw a card. Ooh, Briar Legion. Oh, this is a good. This is a good. Oh, Inner Conflict. I gotta take the Inner Conflict. I don't have any more Briar Legions in the deck. Uh, Inner Conflict is the card that I was looking for. It actually came up. If I can come back around and get the Evolve as well, um, that will make it really, really good. I wouldn't even include the Captain of the Guard or the Paladin. Um, I might even go like a 10-7. 10-7 uh, Wild Diamond um, and Mana Split. Am I doing, overdoing it on the senseis? Probably. Am I gonna lose? Highly likely. Am I gonna have fun? Yes, I am. One. 
So the, the the shield. Okay, so the wind whisperer, the repel, the inner conflict. Oh, another Briar Legion. I guess I can take it now and, and see if the other one comes back to me. Hopefully, yeah, maybe I can do that. Hopefully no one else tries to do that. Well, if someone else tries, it's a 1 in 7 chance that someone else is going to try to do that. And it is a, it is a decent card. Uh, I am going to take the Honeycap this time around. Um, it's, it's pretty much just been talking, it's been calling me out. Hey... I think I'm gonna go for the wild growth. Plus three, plus three this turn. It can save a unit, and it goes back, shuffles into my deck. Uh, with the number of senseis I have, um, it should work out extremely well, where uh, the wild growth could save one, if not two cards, um, and the cost becomes zero. So if my, my opponent's like, hey, you're tapped out. Oh, wild growth. Gotcha. That could be my that could be my winner. Yeah, that could be this this is my winner. Um, basically, I, if I have pheromones down, target troop gets opposing troops must block this this troop if able. So I can I can make it so that hey, I'm swarming. You have to block the sensei and my honey caps deal. 20 damage. Permanent buff. Oh yes, the Briar Legion came back. Oh, that, that was good. The people here to do the water damage are back.
Okay. Well, it drafted my last couple of cards for me. Time for the deck builder. Okay. Let's see. Uh. Um. Let's see. Shield train. Uh, brave. Wild growth. Um. Four senses. Two survivals. Two briar legions. Bucktooth Commander, just because I can now. Two Honeycaps. And the Repel. Inner Conflict. Cottontail Ronin. Pheromones. This is a really fast deck to build. Let's see, what are the gems? Socketable Miner. Uh, Swift Strike? No. Uh, Life Drain? Not that useful. Spell Shield? Uh, it becomes a 2-drop 2-3. Two, sure. guys steadfast will be much more useful so I got one two three four removal or I got five removal that's actually pretty high on the removal. Um, yeah, five on the removal, that's okay. Let's see. What do I want next? I have three braveries, but target troop gets permanent plus one plus one. It just it doesn't warrant the one card. If you actually if it replaced itself, that would be better. Or if it gave Swift Strike like Ruby Aura, but it doesn't. Um, I'm very heavy on, on troops, so I think I'm going to go with the, the Captain of the Dragon Guard. Being able to pull back, uh, pull back the Bucktooth Commander or pull back a Sensei to draw a card, or even play a, a Honey, or pull back a Honey Cap would actually be probably the best, because it gets permanent, and then you pull it back and it gets permanent again. Um, so that would be extremely useful there. Um, I think I'm going to go 10-7. Sort by shard type. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm gonna go ten seven. Now, create a battle hopper. No target troop you control gets plus two, plus two this turn. Uh, gain five health. Create a Mammoth Squirrel token and put it into play. Um, I already have big drops there, so that should be good. Target troop you get plus two, plus two this turn. Um, I can use this in conjunction with, yeah, I can use this in conjunction with Survival of the Fittest. I will go that. Uh, validation summary. Okay, that looks good. Okay. Oh, I can't I can't test the draw anymore. Oh uh, I get to select a sleeve. What sleeve should I go with? Default champion dungeon crawler king sleeve pro player Collector, Grand King Sleeve, come on, anything that is somewhat 
captain. I'll, I'll, I'll go the night sleeve. I'll, I'll be like as low on the totem pole as I want to be. I thought you could test straws before. All right, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I will be, um, well, I'll be putting up part two here in just a moment. Hopefully I do well in this tournament and you guys will continue to see me play throughout this. Thanks for watching.